I first started coming over here because as a university professor, you know, you have to come over and follow your students and see what's going on. And so a lot of students were coming over here to work. And so I came to see what was going on. And I remember it reminded me of the first theater where I ever worked, the first professional gig I ever had, which was a theater that was started in the town where I got my graduate degree. And I was really excited about that because I knew what it meant to have that kind of theater in town because they were going to be doing stuff that other theaters were not going to be doing. And I remember thinking, I hope they appreciate this and they aren't freaked out by it. <laughs> so that's when I first started coming over. And I've just been back as an audience member throughout and I've started to even teach here since then. So yeah, that's my introduction. The change of guard that happened that brought uh, Jordan in is uh, I, I remember that, that when that happened, I was really impressed with how they responded to young people. There was a mission already in place with working with young people. And what I saw happen was that uh, the Haymarket focused more on, let's say, what popular culture was offering to kids in the moment. There were still classics, you know, classic literature and plays and film and that type of thing. but something as contemporary as The Hunger Games or something like that was then being offered to kids as uh, projects which they dramatized and the thing that really excited me about that because I'm a career educator is that I saw them getting incredibly excited over that process and what that means is that you are empowering your next generation. You are, and I've said this to Jordan that you are shaping the minds of the people who are going to be the next lawmakers in town. And so often the case is, and again, maybe you have to be a geeky educator to get this, but you see them, students, young people getting up in there. Uh, even if it's words that somebody else has written, they are there being the conduit for the moment where they are animating and, and, and giving meaning to those words. And that is an empowering act. It really helps young people define their voices. And it's a bridge out of sort of childhood into young adulthood and into other places as well. And, you know, it's a valuable resource for Lincoln. And again, it might be one of those things, unless you're an educator, you don't get it, but it is happening. And uh, having taught here, I can see that they are genuinely excited about it. They realize that they're being recognized, they're being heard, the things that are important to them are important to other people, and that is incredibly important. And there are lots of people who don't get that, and they end up being unactualized personalities. But uh, it won't go undone because of the hay market, because it's certainly being done here. Thank you.